Water is the most important substance on the planet after oxygen. We all can't live without it. But are we drinking a good water? Let's find out. So the main property of water is its hardness. And we all know that the hard water is gonna cause issues with your cattle, with your washing machine. If you have a humidifier, you can get the white stuff all over the place. But it's all minor because it doesn't necessarily affect ourselves that much. And, but the water that we're drinking, that what really concerns us and that what we should really take a look at because it's really going to affect our health and because our body consists mostly of water we want to make sure we're drinking the nice clean and soft water so let's find out what kind of water we get from the tap let's find out what kind of water we can buy from the bottles or what kind of water is around us like in the lake or the creek you know so let's just find out and uh, stay tuned for the video if you like the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos and also click the notification bell so you don't miss other videos. Thank you very much. Let's go. Alright, so let's take a look at this uh, little TDS meter. What it is, it's a meter that measures the total dissolved solids in your water. And total dissolved solids is one of the main criteria that makes your water good or bad. And it also determines how soft or hard the water is. Uh, it's mostly the salts of calcium that you want to be uh, considering. There's also salts of magnesium, but the salts of calcium, they're most important and there's way more of, uh, way more of them in the water. And, and salts of calcium, salts of magnesium, this is what makes your water hard or soft. And you might notice when you boil the water, you get that white uh, cover in your cattle there. This means that you got lots of salts of calcium that means that water is hard and it's not good for drinking. It will cause a lot of issues with your health. So you want to avoid drinking hard water all the time. You can drink mineral water once in a while, but it's not good to drink it all the time. So we all make sure that we have nice and soft water. And this thing is going to help us determine how, how many total dissolved solids are in the water at the moment. So I got this one from Amazon. It was like $15, so I just want to see how good it is and how, how it works. So if you want to check out this video and stay tuned. So as you can see here, it's got this nice little uh, case that you can protect this TDS meter and take it with you anywhere you go. So you can measure the hardness of water anywhere, anywhere you go, like if you travel in or if you go on vacation or you go to work or you drink water anywhere, you can always take a quick test and see how, how many salts of calcium are in it. So this is how it looks. It looks like a small pan here, so you can basically almost looks like you can ride with it, which is kind of nice. It's nice and light. It's, saw, uh, it's small. It has three buttons here. It says on and off, mode, calibration and hold. And yeah, the brand I forgot to mention, it's a Vivo Sun which I don't know, like I never heard of it before, but it seems like a good brand. So there was many good reviews on Amazon about it. So I wanna just uh, see how it works myself. And this protective cap, when you remove it, there's a couple electrodes here and they're used to actually measure the total dissolved solids. So yeah, this is how it looks. There's nothing really much to say about it. Uh, there is also, there's also a small manual here that came with it. It has uh, just a rough, uh, just a brief information about this meter. And as you can see here, it can measure the total dissolved solids from zero to 9999 ppm, which means particles per million. This is term used to measure the total dissolved solids. And what it means is uh, that it's also like a one milligram per one liter so it's one milligram in one liter is uh, particles per million it also measures the temperature of water from 0 0.1 to 80 degrees celsius and the accuracy for it is like two percent which is which is pretty good for non-laboratory analysis and uh yeah it's pretty light so you can take it with you anywhere you go and yeah so let, that's it let's go 
take a look at uh, how good it measures and how good the results are. And uh, we'll take a few samples of water so we can see what's the difference it makes. All right, let's go. All right, so there we go. This is, we're at the lake here. And we're just gonna go and take a couple samples of water and see how it, what's, what's it gonna be doing for the results. So there we go, I got this bottle for the lake. We're just gonna get a sample here. We're just gonna see how much total dissolved salt is gonna be in this water. There you go. There we go, there's a creek here we got. So we're just gonna take a sample of this water and see what the result's gonna be for this water. The TDS, total dissolved solids for this. Good and marked of this stream. So this is gonna be a water from the stream, let's go. Okay, so here's all the water samples we're going to be using for analysis. Okay, so our first contender is going to be the reverse osmosis water that we got from that big bottle. We're going to see how much total dissolved solids is going to get. So let's just turn it on, immerse it in here, and we got, just press the hold so to keep the results. We got five ppm. This is really good. This is like the almost clean, pure, clean water. So I do like this one. Let's go and test the next one. The next one we're gonna get is gonna be the Dasani water. And this one they are saying here that the total dissolved solids that they say is like less than 35. So we got 19, which is really good as well, like this is a good water, you can drink it no problem. The next contender is going to be the San Pellegrino mineral water and of course it's going to have way more dissolved solids in it because it's a mineral water. Plus it's got carbonation here, so this might affect the results as well. And they actually put it on here on the bottle, they're saying that the calcium they're gonna get at least 164 ppm. And there's also magnesium is 49, so totally like over 200. Yeah, so let's just see how much it's gonna be. Immerse this one. And you can see the results are not stable. That's because you get this water carbonated. So the air bubbles are affecting the actual test. And we can see it's actually going down right now. So let's just wait for a minute and see if the results gonna be stabilized. So as you can see here, it's going up and down, but it's way like oh, about 300. So yeah, it's good for you only if you drink it like once a week. I wouldn't recommend drinking this a lot because you can see it has over 300 ppm. This is lots. Mineral water is good for you when you drink it once in a while. The next water we're gonna test is called Smart Water. 
I'm not sure what they mean by that smart, so maybe there's something smart about it, but it, it says it's Glacier, okay, Glacier, so yeah, that's cool, right from the Glacier, and for some reason they don't show you how many total dissolved solids are in it, oh, sorry, there is one, so it says less than 40, yeah, they do show it here, it's less than 40, but we're just gonna test it ourselves and see if that's true. Indeed, that's true. We get like 32 out of it, so that's really good. Oh. The next one on the line is gonna be the Pierre, the water from France. This is mineral water as well. So we're just gonna do a test on this one. It's carbonated as well, so that we're gonna get pretty weird results. I mean, they're gonna be probably jumping a little bit, but because it's mineral water, it's gonna have a lot of PPM. And yeah, they do show it here. So for calcium, it has 150. Magnesium is 3.9, so it's more like calcium water. It has more calcium in it than anything else. But let's just find out. So this water is a little bit less than San Pellegrino. It's somewhere around 200 ppm. Still, it's not good for drinking on everyday basis. The next one is going to be Aquafina. This is probably one of the most popular water in the world and it's demineralized and it says by reverse osmosis. So it's probably going to get results close to this first one here we got, which was I think 5 ppm. The really low. Content of total dissolved solids. So turn it on and as you can see it's showing 10 and the next one's gonna be the nest lip natural spring water we'll see how much it's gonna get It's a little bit more than the reverse osmosis one, it shows about 57. But th this is still drinkable. But the best one would be if you get below 20, that'd be the perfect water to drink, so. This is gonna be our water from the tap. So we're just gonna measure how much is, our, is in our tap. As you can see, the water from the tap is about 116, 117, 119. So yeah, it's about over 110 for sure. So that's way too much for drinking on everyday basis. That's why if some people drink from the tap water, I don't really would concern, would be concerned about drinking this water because it's, uh, it has a lot of total dissolved solids for you. And the, you should be drinking something below 50. The below 20 would be the best, but this is way too much. This is like five, six times more. So no good for this one. And now I've got this little jar here. We're gonna test. Next one, we're gonna take our lake water, which we got from our lake. Just curious, just curious to see how much is in it. There we go. See what's in the lake. Turn it on. Wow. I can't believe like the lake is cleaner than the tap water. Let's just do it again. Yeah, like lake has a hundred ppm versus over hundred and ten from the tap. So we got clean we got cleaner water in the lake than in the tap. 
If you want to drink from the tap, just go to the lake. <laughs> just kidding, guys. All right, let's test the river water or the stream water. Okay, so the next one we're gonna test is gonna be the stream water that we got from the stream. Let's just see how much the stream water shows us. And yeah, as you can see, the stream's got a little bit more dissolved solids. It's about 140. So, I just see it again. Yeah, 138, so 136. You know, it's kind of, it's normal because this uh, little meter has its own accuracy, but overall it gets you an idea of how much you get uh, in each of the water sources. So, yeah, what can I say about this little meter here? I think it's an awesome thing to have with you whenever you, wherever you go, this way you can test for sure what you're drinking and have an idea of uh, whether it's good or not to drink water from the tap or drink water from the any other source that you get and as I said the best water to drink would be the reverse osmosis water and it's actually pretty cheap to, to buy too like you can get a whole big bottle and for like five dollars and yeah it's gonna in the long run you're gonna get a good health and it's always worth it so yeah i would recommend getting one of these yeah so this is it guys this is the results we get definitely consider getting like a reverse osmosis water if you want to drink good healthy water and you know you always want to keep good health so that you stay healthy if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and if you like this video if it, if it was helpful to you give it a thumbs up also click the notification bell as well so you don't miss other videos and I hope to make more interesting and helpful video for you so yeah if you want to support my small YouTube channel you can go ahead and watch more videos and I'll see you soon bye bye